Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and as always, we are diving, flying, soaring into a new episode of Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. And as you can see, we're in Galopolis. We finally made it, and so now we're going to go explore, talk to people in the city, see what they have to say. My husband is a horseman. When he returns home after a hard day of training, his appetite is bigger than that of his horse, I swear. <laughs> All right. Ooh, what do you sell? Welcome, welcome to the item shop. How can I serve you? Well, I just came from another item shop, so let's see what you got. So, gold bracer. We could buy that, or we could find a book to make it. What can we sell? Because I'm really starting to wonder, like, we need more money. Uh, Yidrasa leaf? Oh, okay. Returns a single fault. No, we don't want to get rid of that. Magic water? Nope, don't want to get rid of that either. Um, I want to keep the gold ore. Do we have anything that sells for decent? See, I don't know what these eyes do. Like, if we can sell these, I would take that. Because this would give us, um, what, 500, 750, 950 right here for these four, these three eyes and then a pink pearl. We've got this enchanted stone. It doesn't say what it does. Um, actually, let me check. Cannot be bought. Purchase price. So, yeah, you can't buy it. Oh, I can buy these later on. Oh, and it says who I got them from. So maybe, I, like, I don't know. I'll, you guys let me know if I should sell these eyes. Like, let me know and I'll decide and, and maybe I'll sell them down the road. But um, for right now, I guess I'll hold on to them. Um, yeah, we really can't sell these things. I mean, I guess if I go to an equipment shop, I can sell my equipment that I don't use. But for now, I want to keep these items, unfortunately. Um, I'd love to make a bit more money, but not right now, bud. But, um... Let's see. We got a shop owner here who's got uh, lots of swords and shields and all kinds of stuff here. I am the official sword supplier to the Knights of Galopolis. Would you care to take a weapon home with you as a souvenir, perhaps? Sell. Let's see what we can sell. All right. So, oh, whoops. I didn't go to my equipment bag. That's what I did. I went to item bag when I was trying to sell. So, um, let me see the details. Um... I'm gonna be honest, I think I can sell a bunch of this stuff. Like, um, hmm, scale armor. Like, we just don't need a lot of these things anymore. Um, we've got three Wayfarer's clothes that are probably not gonna benefit us anymore. Um, scale, yeah, I just, I, let me do this real quick. Let's check, oh, nope, <laughs> don't need to jump. Um, okay, so let's go to items. Let's go to equipment bag. So, if I, hmm, how can I, oh, I can do this, here we go, okay, so, if I go to Bronze Sword 2, so 46, 48, yeah, it's just dropping our stats, it doesn't really give us anything beneficial, I can sell all of these, I think, um, if I go to Eric, we do the same thing, uh, 44, Bronze Knife, Cure, Eric's Dagger, it does increase his defense, or deafness, sorry, by two, but not worth it. Soldier Sword, Boomerang. Okay, so we can sell those. What about uh, the Thorn Whip I might keep just in case? Serena's Wand, Bronze Lance, same thing. Okay, so I think we know what we can sell now to make some money. Uh, sell. So let's go to Equipment Bag. Let's sell uh, the Bronze Knife. I think we can sell that for 75. Not bad. Yes, we're going to sell the bronze sword, or broadsword, sorry, for 300. Templar's uniform, getting rid of that. No, thank you. Don't need it. Uh, the Krusharang? Krusharang? Yep, we're going to sell that. Scale armor plus one. It's not bad, but, like, I don't think we need that anymore. Uh, boomerang, 210. I've already... I think I can buy other boomerangs, so it's really not necessary. Um, bronze lance, thorn whip. Soldier's sword, we can get rid of this as... Wait, what? If you... I have to warn you, if you sell that, you might not ever be able to get it back. Oh, because it's one that we found from a soldier, I think, right? Isn't that... We got it somehow. Um, I think we're good on money. Now we're at almost two grand. So let's see what we can buy here. Um, uh, oh, Posey Pole. A fabulous floral wand, the waving of which can sometimes send nature-based monsters into a trance. Wow. A uh, fairy staff, a spell casting stick atop which sits a jewel in which the souls of spirit, uh, sprites and brownies are said to reside. See, I like this. See how it's all just plus? It's not 
lowering anything. It's keeping what you've got and increasing MP absorption by plus 8%, plus 15 attack, plus 15 magical might, plus 7 magical mending. This is the kind of stuff I want to buy. Yeah. Um, I might get that. Hers only goes up by 1 versus Veronica's staff would go up by 7. So I think this would be a worthy purchase. Um, so let's buy this. Yep, Veronica, we're going to give you this because it increases magical might by 7. Um, and it increases all your other stats as well. So we will take that. You want to equip it now? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we sold a lot of stuff to get that one item, but I think it's worth it. And then let's do this really quick. Uh, let's go items, Veronica. Transfer this back into the equipment bag. We're not going to sell her stuff, though. We're going to hold on to that staff because we she's only got limited amount of items right now. Uh, let's see if we can go in these shops and never mind. It's locked from the other side. Okay, wait, no, trunks. Don't do that again. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's talk to her. Oh, me, oh, my, just look at you. What a handsome fellow you are. I wish to give you the priceless gift of Puff Puff. Will you permit me? Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say this. Come then, follow me. <laughs> okay. Oh, we get to go inside now? <gasps> we can check out the rooms. Yeah, let's get it. That was smart. Okay, so I guess talking to her was good. File of fin fines Finescence? Softwort? Very nice. Okay, cool. We're getting that puff puff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Goodness me, but I cannot see uh, to you all at once. Whatever do you think I am? <laughs> Just you, my sweet. You and you alone. Come now. Will you follow me to my private chamber? Well, listen. <laughs> Guess if I have to. Wonderful. Then follow me. Hehe. <laughs> All right, all right. Eric uh, Trunks nervously leaves his friends behind. This is so weird. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so creepy. Like, follow me to my private chambers. It's like, uh, Eric, Veronica, Serene, I'll see you in a minute. All right. Hi. Now, just sit right here on the bed. That's it, my sweet. Oh, my God. This is so weird. Is it all right with you if I turn on the Wait. Wait. What have I gotten myself into? Oh my god, um, yes, uh, ah, uh, this is not what I thought would happen in a Dragon Quest game, but okay, yep, sure, I guess here we go, kids look away, hee <laughs> hee, oh my god, puff, 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 hee <laughs> hee, uh, hee, hee hee hee, puff, 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 hee hee, what, uh, what are you, huh, puff, 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 hee hee, Hey, that, that tickles. <laughs> Not bad, eh? I give a puff puff and a <laughs> I do. This is so weird. My sweet, meet my father. He's the greatest practitioner of the puff puff in all the lands of the world. That's me, done then. Don't be a stranger, eh, sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, um, that was something, all right. That was something. Can I still not go in these rooms? Yeah, she still won't let me go in the... I, I don't know, like, if someone wants to explain in the comments section without being super vulgar, like, what are they referring to with the puff puff thing? Like, I... <laughs> he just, it just said dot 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 for trucks. Gosh, well, um, shall we get moving? That was really weird. Can someone explain to me again, like, what, what it, what happened? Like, in the most non-Volker way you can explain it. Like, what happened? Welcome to the armor shop. Okay, let's see what they've got. Um, probably... Ooh, wow. An alluring outfit often worn by dancers and other entertainers. 1,300 leather cape. Oh, wow. That'd be nice for uh, Eric. That would be really good for Eric. We, unfortunately, don't have the money, so we will have to come back. Maybe I'll do some grinding off-screen to get the gold. Not necessarily the levels, because, again, we've already talked about grinding, but um, maybe... Oh, a medicinal herb. Maybe we'll do off-screen grinding just to get the gold, because, yeah, that would be nice to buy those weapons. Ah, it's a jester. Very nice. Um, all right, let's talk to you, bud. S uh, Slevs? Slev's probably in his dressing room getting changed. If you want to chat, now's your chance. Sve Slev? Svel? Sival? Okay. See, si, I am a caballero. Caballero, I come here from Puerto Valor every year to watch La Sande Nacional. But perhaps this year I will treat myself to a trip to the circus too. 
the trope will put on a special show for the prince's birthday, no? I don't know, dude. I don't know. But I'm trying to go in these buildings and no one's letting me in. It's like they don't want me to in invade their privacy. Like, what is this? Um, there's some dude just standing on the edge here, just kind of watching. Hey! Excuse me, coming through, excuse me. Oh, don't let me distract you. Whoa! Oh, okay, that didn't. Alright, that didn't do anything. We must give thanks to the Sultan, if it would not for his efforts in keeping the peace of our kingdom. We would not have the leisure to enjoy the Sand National. Very true, I guess? Hi, doggy. Ah, oh, I love doggy. Uh, there's no treasures over here. Let's check up here. Oh, there's a knight. There's a... Okay, this is some... Oh. Ha! <laughs> this guy's intimidating. My crossbow is my best friend. It is my life. And yet my crossbow alone is not enough. There's nothing without the crossbow kid. The what? The cro There's a kid whose name is Crossbow Kid? Prince Ferris will win this year's Sand National. I feel it in my bones. Nothing in life is certain, of course, but I have seen a fan of horse racing for a... I've been a fan of horse racing for a long time now. I think it would be so. All right. Well, you're pretty confident, but hey, you know, believe in what you believe in. Medicinal herb. Very nice. Um, cool. Look at that one. I despair. I really do. Horse is this. Horse is that. <laughs> Gotta love those accents. Um, who's over here? Let's talk to these people. Oh, wait, hold on. There's pot. Get the pot. Hey, four gold coins. We'll take it. Everyone has heard of the great Sil... Silvando, and yet no one knows the first thing about him. Not even where he was born. That sort of mystery is no doubt part of his appeal. <laughs> oh, I can jump onto here. Is there an item up here? Oh, there's a kid. This is my special VIP seat. Once the circus begins, I will hear every ooh and ah from here. That's kind of cool. Good spot to hide, kid. This is a good spot to just kind of chill out and enjoy the view. Very nice. So there's guards around here. Okay, so let's make our way down the stairs. Let's go to this, the right side over here, or I guess technically left when we walked in. Uh, let's see, what do you have to say? The Zen National Sale is here. So many wonderful souvenirs. Uh, can we go inside here? Yes, we can actually go inside somewhere. Oh my goodness. Ah, my eye. Uh, I just got an eyelash on my eye. Oh god, it's attacking. It's attack of the eyelashes. Alright, we're fine. We're good. <laughs> it's weird. Wait, can I? Oh, I look like that could be open with the gold, like, shining kind of light thing. Okay, interesting. Or the reflection. Alright, wardrobe number one. What do we have? We have a hardy hide. Wardrobe number two. We have... Nothing. Come back next time when we open more wardrobes. I'm um, not seeing a bookshelf with uh, any books to read. Interesting. Although we do have the zoom ability, so we can go back to previous buildings or, or uh, cities, sorry. Uh, let's see. Anything down here? There's some pots to... Some little barrels. They're not really pots. These ones are barrels. 17 gold coins. Very nice. Where's the 1,000 gold coin barrel? That's what I want to know. That's where the fun really gets started. Another house we can go into. Very cool. Do you know, I believe I caught a glimpse of Sal Silan Silvando. I can't do that name. Silvando, the man everyone has been talking about. He's very tall and very handsome indeed. He would certainly be my type if only I were a little younger. I guess so, but I don't care about that because I see a red book on a shelf. So let's see. There's a book called Wanderers No More, The Gallipolitan Circus. Trunks takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Our humble circus was once like many others, a traveling spectacle that traversed Erdurea uh, from one land to another. But when our uh, itinerant troop finally arrived in the great kingdom of Gallipolis, the people were so warm and enthusiastic that the Sultan himself suggested we stay. But we were wanderers at heart. We belonged on the road with tears in our eyes. We turned down the most generous offer and regretfully left the friendly people of the desert behind. But when we returned, what we saw amazed us all. The Sultan had ordered the construction of an enormous, beautiful, big top in which we might ply our entertaining trade. Each and every one of us was so moved by this grand gesture that the decision to remain was unanimous. The rest, as they say, is history. Right, interesting. So I've noticed that it doesn't actually teach us things. Like, it's good to look at these bookshelves, but I didn't get a new recipe to forge an item or anything. So it's not that you're always going to get something. It's just good to always check, which is what I, I think is what people in the comment section have been referring to by check the bookshelves. 
because you never know what you're going to find. Also, this, oh my gosh, this eyelash is really killing me. I got to, like, close one of my eyes to play this freaking game right now. Holy crap. There's a book called The Deadly Denizens of the Celestial Sands. Trunks takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. In this volume, I shall describe a select few among the countless ferocious monsters that infest the harsh, unforgiving dunes of the Celestial Sands. The Spitzfire, a naturally nocturnal beast that spends the daylight hours asleep, thankfully. Should you ever be unfortunate enough to happen upon one, take good care not to wake it. The Slayer of the Sands, an enormous arthropod... Uh, wait, did I say that right? Arth... Arthropod? Arthropod, that has slain too many brave Gallipolitan Galipol uh, knights to count. It is thought many to prowl the very center of the celestial sands. The Cacto... The Cacto... The Cactolotl? The Cactolotl. <laughs> Weird names. The Cactolotl, swimming through the sands as if they were water. It attracts its prey with a scent like that of cactus flowers. Few have seen it and lived, but all who have agreed... All who have agree that it is the true lord of the desert. Okay, so we got a lot of information, but again, no like, hey, you can forge this item. Hey, you can forge that, which is fine. I just, I thought when I originally was told in episode one, oh, another Wayfarer's Clothes. When I was told in episode one to read all the books, or I think it was episode two, I just assumed that that meant that every time you read a book, you'd get a new forged item to make. So, uh, but I guess I misunderstood, so, uh, which is fine. No big deal. Another dog over here, some barrels, or these are more like pots. Uh, seven gold coins. No, a thousand gold coins. I think they're being a little stingy here, those, this town. Uh, oh, can we go in here? We can. What's in here? Uh, absolutely nothing? Huh. Okay. Aw, look at the horses. Aw. Do 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 already do do do. Have you seen Sharak Faus's horse? No. Then you must go and see immediately. He will be in the paddock with Faz. You will not regret it, I promise. <laughs> okay, thanks, man. Thanks for the advice. Is it this horse right here? Is this the one? No. Is it the other two? This is the royal dressing room where the members of that glorious royal family prepare to take part in the races. Hmm, you wish to take part in the Sand National yourself? A thousand pardons, but rider registration has already ended. Unless someone is injured or withdraws, I'm afraid it'll be impossible for you to participate in the race. But please, you must stay and enjoy the spectacle. Alright, that's fair. So is this the main arena? Oh, very cool. Ah, this is dope. Alright, lots of horses. Greetings, I am FaZe. Oh, we found FaZe. Okay, I am Fi. I am Faz. Uh, the winner of last year's San National. However, I expect a fair closer race this time. Prince Faris promises to be a worthy opponent. Indeed, I must confess to feeling some trepidation. While I doubt that I will enjoy the experience, I hope at least the crowd are treated to the spectacle they deserve. Very cool. Nice. All right. So can we go down this way? Ooh, the racetrack entrance way. So what's back here? I feel like this is probably not where I should be going, but eh, we'll take a look around. Let's see if there's anything back here. Can I go on the raceway? Oh, I probably shouldn't have done this. This is the racetrack. Well, it's not the official racetrack, but okay. Perhaps you're not the world's greatest jockey friend. Do not despair. I just have just the thing for you. These golden reins will transform your fortunes. Use them to steer your steed and the competition will not stand a chance. Of course, it would not do for me to simply give them away. I think 10,000 gold coins sounds like a fair price. What do you say? No. Well, I will not force you to purchase them, but do let me know if you have a wish. Okay, so that's good to know. So maybe once we get a crap ton of gold, we can definitely come back, buy those horse reins, and then maybe, <laughs> maybe we can be the greatest horse track rider you've ever seen. But for now, I think let's continue to explore the city. I don't think we want to continue... Uh, hanging around here. Oh, there's a kid. Let's talk to the kid. You are visitors here in Galapolis. Have you come to see the horses? Yes. Then you must be here for the. Uh, you must head for the stables. That is where they are kept when they are not racing. Beyond the stables is the racetrack itself. It floats on top of a desert oasis. You know that's cool. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk to the kid was because there was someone called a crossbow shooter or something. I don't know. Um, I'm Shakarth. Shikarth is in the lead by a desert mile. He will break his own record here today. But here comes the chasing pack led by Sh Sharuk 2. Oh, such wonderful speed like lightning. Sharuk 2 is closing in. Huh? What are you do? What are we doing? We're playing the Sand National game, of course. But both my friends want to be Sharuk. 
Uh, Sharuk, the same horse cannot race against itself. <laughs> oh, kids. Hey, there's a quest. Very nice. We'll check on that quest in a second here. We got a single file. Very nice. How much longer must I wait? Why must the sands torture me so? Ah, good day to you. You are perhaps wondering why I'm standing here, yes? The truth is, I am a painter, and I am waiting for a scene worthy of being immortalized by my hand. I have already envision... Im invis... Invis... Envisioned? No, invis... Envisaged? The sort... I don't know. Envisaged? Envisaged the sort of image I would like to paint. A mighty magnificent conflict unfolding in the desert. Alas, the sands have yet to oblige me. There is something missing. But what could it be? The setting is perfect, and there are plenty of spitfires. Ah, but of course, conflict. Cataclysm cataclysmic, chaotic conflict in the form of a mag magnif magnificent move such as wild, wild side? Okay. Wait, perhaps you could assist me. Venture out into the celestial sands and slay a spitfire by unleashing your wild side. That will provide me with a tableau truly worthy of my talents. Surely you will not refuse a struggling artist in his hour of need. So I have to use wild side pet power to defeat a spitfire. Sure. Oh, wonderful. A thousand thank yous. Yours is, the yours is the kind of attitude that can inspire a masterpiece, I am sure. Now, before you venture out into the sands, I feel that I should remind you that Wild Side can only be by performed by three very specific people. That should give you an idea of its power and its beauty. If you want to know who exactly needs to be pepped up in order to perform it, simply select Attributes from the menu and press X to find out more about your pep powers. Now, get out there and show me the beauty of battle. I will ensure that you are immortalized on canvas. Okay, we got a walk on the wild wild side. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's do this then. Uh, let's do attributes. Um, so I guess... Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so uh, wild side. So it needs three people, right? So... Uh, let's see. Wild side. I don't see wild side as an option. Oh, wait. Hold on. Pep powers. Here we go. Okay. I'm sorry. I did not do it right. So it. Oh. So those three people must be pepped at the same time. That's going to be interesting. I wonder if we can do that. Because usually they do pep. They usually get pepped at the same time. So I think we'll be fine. Forging flourishes. Wait. We can. Wait a minute, do we not have that? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I'm starting to understand this a little bit better. Hold on. So we can actually forge this? Or do we already have this for everyone? Care prayer? No, we definitely don't have all these. I'm 100% sure we don't. So I would need to go forging flourish... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 I'm confused. Hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Um, if I go to Serena, um, it looks like she already has this pep power. You know what? I'm gonna. I'll look into that. Um, do I want to do that now? I could. Whoa, so what's that? You want to know what I'm doing? Well, ain't it obvious? I mean, where's the best place to get racing tips? Yeah, that's right, from the horse's mouth. <laughs> you should give it a go sometime, especially if you've had enough of being diddled by humans who don't know the first thing about horses. <laughs> I love the way they talk in this game. It's great. Honestly, uh, being born in England, it, understanding what they're saying is not that hard being that I used to speak like this when I was a kid, so um, this is great. Okay, so I'm wondering, we're at 24 minutes. I say we try and complete this quest. We've checked out the majority of the city, so I'm not sure it would be that tough to do this. Like, get the pep power. So I say we go for it. Um, if I have to cut some of this out, I can, but I say we go back out. Let's try and get our pep powers for Trunks, Eric, and Serena, and if we can do that, then I think we'll be set. Um, so let's battle an enemy. Let's get started. I don't know how long it's going to take. What I'm going to do um, as well is we're going to go settings, speed. We're going to go ultra fast for these battles. So we can try and get these pep powers as quickly as possible. Oh, we blocked. Okay. 
I'm gonna just attack. I want to see if I can, like... Well, that does a lot. Yeah, maybe we should use spells. Maybe I should have been sticking to that. Uh, attack. Brownie A. Spells... Uh, let's try this. Why not? Let's see what it looks like. Dazzle. Oh, I missed? Oh, wonderful. Oh, wait, I missed only one of them. Very nice. Okay, let's attack Brownie A. Spells. Let's go for Sizz on all three. Okay, 30. Did that just do 30 damage? Oh, my God. Um, 15. Okay. Attack Brownie B. 57 damage. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take to get the uh, the um, the pep powers with them, but we'll see. Uh, Veronica will heal you up. Luckily, we can run right back into Galopolis and save and do all the things we need to if we're in a really tight spot. So we're, we're in a good spot to do something like this. Um, oh, he's almost done. He got his pep power. Brownie A attacks. Or Brownie C attacks, sorry. 14. And he's defeated. Very nice. So it's probably going to take a couple more battles. 225. Veronica's level 13. Very nice. Three skill points. Learns a new spell, Fizzle and Bang. Oh my god. And she got three skill points. I'm going to say no to the skill points. I'm going to wait until we can complete this quest. And then we'll do the skill points. We got nine damage there. Okay, let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Let's get these pep powers. Uh, let's attack. 17. Oh my gosh. Okay, spell. Sizz on all of them. Now, I don't know what the best way is to get the pep powers. I don't know if there's a certain thing we have to do. or I, I mean, the way I understand it is you just keep attacking, really. It, I don't think there's like any trick to it. I mean, I could be wrong. We haven't got pep powers in a while. And Serena grows a level 13. Very nice. Her best stat she just gained is HP, MP, and Magical Mending plus 5. That's really nice. She learned Accelerate. Oh, my God. No, we're going to save those skill points. Critter Hitter. Awarded for defeating 300 enemies. Very nice. Um, okay, let's see who else can help us get this pep power. Let's run out here. And there is more sparkly items. Um... I know that we could have progressed inside Galopolis and probably done more things, but honestly, I want to get these pet powers and complete this quest, so this might just be one of our longer episodes. Oh boy, that is five enemies. Holy crap. Uh, let's take you out or try to first. This is bad. Yeah, this is going to be a tough battle. I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to heal Eric. This is going to be rough with five of them there. 12 damage. Spells. Just... Damages all enemies with a small explosion. We've got to try that. And Fizzle uh, prevents a group of enemies from using magic. That's interesting. I like that. Let's go with Bang. Oh, my God. S Veronica is broken. I almost said Serena. Holy crap. Spells. Um, let's go with... Wait. Didn't she get something else? Uh, I thought she got something else. She got... Da no. What did she get? I thought she got something different. Oh, no, Accelerate. I think it... No. Didn't she get something different? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's heal... Let's heal for uh, Veronica. Yeah, let's let's play the safe and use Serena to heal here. Because this is going to be a harder battle than I would like to uh, have dealt with. But that's going to help with the pet powers, I think. So, you know, that'll be good. Uh, bang. Yep, let's get everyone. Uh, spell... Uh, let's go for the Skull Riders. Very nice. I'm gonna heal Eric. I think we're just gonna use Serena like a white mage right now just to heal and protect the party. Uh, Sis on Chimeras. And there you go, they're defeated. Alright, so no pet powers yet. I don't think this will take too long. We got a treasure chest. We got a beast bone. Alright. Very nice, very nice. Now, the good thing is we're getting a lot of gold, which is great because that means in the next episode, we could potentially go ahead and buy some of those more expensive items in Galapolis. So, uh, fight, spell, sizz. I feel like we got to get our pet power soon. I feel like we're close. Unless there's something I'm, like, completely missing that I didn't realize. Um, let's go for sizz. It costs less MP. Okay, never mind. All right, we're not there yet.
We're getting 108 gold coins, another treasure chest, hardy hide, very nice. Provoke a rewarded for making 100 preemptive strike uh, attacks on enemies. Their strike was not in there. That's okay. 12 damage, very nice. Okay, smaller battles, not as difficult, thank God. Uh, let's go with this. Do some good damage. Um, let's steal from the rabbit. What's yours is mine. Ah, uh, couldn't steal anything. Dang. Ah, uh, we got Veronica's pet power, which is good. However, um, not exactly what I wanted it for. I wanted it for the others, but that's okay. Maybe that means we'll get them for the others soon. That'll be cool. Heal. There we go. Attacks. Okay. Uh, we'll attack Brownie A. Um, Veronica's got plenty of MP, so we'll just keep using Bang. Might as well. It's doing a great job. Oh yeah. Level 14 for Eric. Two skill points. Nope, we're going to save those. We got three treasure chests. Witherwood, Witherwood, and Hardy Hide. Oh my god. All right. Now, can we use... I, I haven't tried this before. Um... Oh, I didn't even think about doing this before. We can heal outside of battle. Yeah. Nice. Okay, well, we're pretty much healed anyway, so I'm going to try to remember that uh, moving forward. All right, 14 off the bat. I like it. Let's see if we can get those pep powers. Come on. Uh, fight. Attack Brownie A. Spells. We'll go for Sizz. Spells, we'll go for uh, Bang. I kill all of them. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, wow. oh I killed one of them. Uh, heal. Uh, actually, we're good on healing. So let's go with... Um... Yeah, let's go with Dazzle. Let's do it. Oh, we missed. Dang it. Missed. Okay. Oh, pet powers for Eric. Very nice. So we can do Scorched Earth with Eric, but I want to wait on that. Um, oh, okay, we just need Serena to get her pet powers, and then we're good. Thund Tundra and Lightning, Ring of Rack and Ruin. Okay, so we do have the pet powers already. You don't need to forge them like I thought we needed to, so that was kind of silly of me, but we just need Serena to get hers, and then we can do the attack that we need to do to complete the quest, and this episode may not be as long as I thought it was going to be. We may actually get these, um... We just need Serena to get hers, man. I'm sure it's got to be close, right? I'm sure it's got to be. Um, all right. Let's do fight. Uh, we'll attack Skull Rider. 57. Oh, my God. Attack. I just need you to... I really need you to help uh, get your... Um, uh, let's do, let's do buff on Veronica. Very nice. There you go. Okay, let's attack. Come on, one more pet power and we've got that we can do this quest or we can complete this quest. 22 damage. Come on. Attack. Attack. You're done. Maybe if I attack with her, she'll get the pet power. No, he got his though. Come on, Serena. We're just waiting for you. Come on. <gasps> yes, she got it. Yes. All right, pet powers. Now we can do wild side. Yes. Oh, thank we God. Go. We can actually do it. <gasps> I'm... Oh. I don't even know what to say. That is insane. He got up in attack, up in defense, up in agility. He's super wolf fang fist. Oh my god. I love this so much. Please. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna defend. I just want to see Eric attack. Thirty-four damage. Okay, so it's not like he doesn't get like a special attack, but it does boost his speed and everything. Oh my god! One ninety-four experience, eighty-four gold. Uh, level fourteen for Trunks. He gains nine HP boost. That's a massive boost. Two skill points. We're gonna say no, and we have completed the quest quicker than I actually thought. 
Um, we're only at the 35 minute mark for this episode, so it's not going to be as long as I thought it might have, which is fantastic. So, um, okay, let's go find that guy that we had a quest for, uh, or that had a quest for us. I think he was this way, right? I think he was around here somewhere, like, there he is, dude. I can't believe we did this quest that quickly. That's so awesome. Um, okay, so let's talk to this guy. I would like you to venture out into the Celestial Sands and slay- Oh, it's a Spitzfire! Oh, that's right! Oh my gosh, it- That's why I didn't complete the quest. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. I forgot it has to be a Spitzfire, so hold on. Can I go to, like... Uh... Oh man, I for- Oh no, defeated monster um... So, I need to... Have we already beaten a Spitzfire? Oh, man. I feel so bad. I just spent all that time getting the pet power, and I needed to defeat a Spitzfire. I forgot. We haven't even fought a Spitzfire yet. Okay, so I will do that in the next episode. I'll try to complete the quest. Let's just check around before we end the episode to make sure we didn't miss anything else. Let's go grab these pots again, just in case there's something in here. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I didn't think that through. Wow. That's a shame. That's okay. It really shouldn't take that long. What I'll do is I'll probably off-screen um, get the level that I need. By the way, how much money do we have? Um, miscellaneous info. It's not saying how much... Okay, well, we can always check. Oh, it's in the top right corner. 1704. Wow, we have a lot more gold now. Um, Oh, this guy's a quest for us. I can spend all day trawling uh, through these stalls. These rarities are bar and bargains galore. What's that? Have I come across some kind of special branch? Hmm, now that you mention it, I do remember hearing about some valuable branch or other that the Sultan owns. Maybe you should ask him about it. He lives in the big palace at the top of the stairs in the middle of the city. All right, so we just got some very good information there. So what we're going to do is this, guys. I do apologize. We'll complete the quest off screen. Um, so I'm going to I'll start recording once we fight the Spitzfire. Um, and we will complete that quest. If we can't do it and it's not till later or I feel like it's going to be too difficult to do off screen and we may have to wait, that's okay. We'll leave this quest for another time. But... Um, we at least got to explore Galopolis, which is really cool. So in the next episode, we'll either do the quest for the Spitzfire with the wild side attack, or we will go ahead and um, continue and see if we can talk to the Sultan and talk about the branch with him. So um, as always, guys, continue to spread those positive vibes. I'll catch you in the next episode. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.